Howdy folks, and Merry Christmas from the Texas Food Dude. Um, we got a special show today. Uh, we're gonna do a, a little bit of a fun thing. I'm gonna do a product review with a little bit of a story behind it, um, and a little bit of history, maybe. You know, it's not trying not to be boring, but it's fun. I'm gonna talk about some fruit cake. Fruit cake? Hey, this is the good fruit cake. This is the Collins Street Bakery fruit cake from Corsicana, Texas. Oh. Yes. So this is the good stuff. Um, you know, fruitcake is very maligned. Um, back in the 70s, it got to be a punchline of a joke. I think Johnny Carson might have been the first one to tell a fruitcake joke, or he stole it from somebody, and, you know, that's how it goes. If you stole it from one person, if Johnny Carson, Carson stole it, you know, maybe, you know, he stole it from somebody else. But uh, Collins Street Bakery is an awesome place. It's, in, like I said, uh, the original location, the first location is in uh, Corsicana, Texas which is also the home of Russell Stover, uh, not ice cream, Russell Stover candies and Wolf Brand Chili, which, you know, we use Wolf Brand Chili in the Frito Pie episode, if you remember that one. So if you didn't, go back a couple episodes, watch it. You'll uh, love it and you'll make Frito Pie and it's amazing. But today we're doing fruit cakes. And if you hear this noise, that's me badly drumming on three tins of fruitcake, but I'm not eating three different fruit cake, fruit cakes because the fruit cakes, if there's not that bad of a glare, this is the one that we had for uh, on um, uh, Thanksgiving. This was the cherry fudge pecan cake, and this is the one that we got last year for uh, Christmas. This was the deluxe food cake, uh, fruit cake. Um, these are so good. And this was for a hundred years from 1896 to 1996. You know, that's a commemoration. This year we get, I was able to get the holiday fruit cake, which is kind of the same thing. Um, and it's got the lovely blue bonnets, the state flower of Texas. Cause you know, there's a little Texas right there and there's a little Texas in everybody's heart. Um, fruit cake is amazing. Um, a lot, like I said, a lot of people malign it, but they've had bad fruit cake. And there is such a thing as bad fruit cake. Um, sometimes you might have your grandmother's fruit cake, and she didn't do it very well, and it gets to be hard as rock, dry as a bone, and it can be nasty. But this stuff is so good. Um, fruit cake, uh, the the constant fruit cake. It's made with like a one third, a solid one third of the the cake is made with pecans, and then they use. Uh, pineapple and glossy fruit. Glossy fruit is the what looks like you know a lot of people call it, call it gummies, but it's 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 really fruit. It's a type of fruit that's been uh, uh, preserved with sugar, and it's really an interesting process how they do it. But that's what you know keeps it in there, and it you know you have preserved fruit in there, and it's really really good. They you and then they put honey and then eggs and whip it up, and it is fantastic. Good good stuff. Um, the cool thing about, um, with, uh, you know, they're, like I said, they've been around for 125 years since 1896 and they make over a million fruit cakes a year. And the majority, about 90% of them are made between, um, November and December in two months. They make, you know, 90% of a hundred of a million, uh, fruit cakes. And it's been a lot to, you know, and in case you haven't ever noticed it, uh, Fruitcake's been in, you know, in like a culturally important thing. Like the movie The Godfather. You remember the, uh, the movie The Godfather uh, after Vito's been, uh, Don Vito's been shot and Sonny's at his house and he gets a phone call. You know, he's talking on the phone and over in the corner you see a deluxe fruitcake tent. And it's right there. See, did you see it right there on the corner? And you know, you don't see the label, but it's there. That's a Collins Street Bakery fruitcake. And so, you know, even the Corleones, they knew quality. They got a fruitcake from Collins Street Bakery. Um, the Queen of England gets a fruitcake every year. She orders it. You know, Elizabeth, she'll sit there. I want 
a fruitcake from the Collins Street Bakery. Thank you very much. And then she'd send it off. Her secretary would like, send it off and she's like, here you go, mom. And she'd go, oh, this is very good. Thank you very much. Um, you know, there's really not much more that I can say about the fruitcake except, you know, go tear into some. And so I'll uh, open it up. I think, yep, I'm going to need a knife. So I'll be right back with a knife. Okay, I got my uh, lid off. Oh, the plastic's already gone. What do you know? I have my knife. Um, just take a look at it. Look at all these pecans. You know, I snacked on a couple of pecans earlier. I mean, there are, it's like I said, it's a solid third of the cake is pecans. And what they do is they get an extruder and they put the dough in here before they bake it. So they load it up with dough and they put some more of the, the glossy fruit at the top and then they pack more pecans in on the top. And so you get all these beautiful, fantastic pecans. I'm gonna have another one. Because if you didn't know, the pecan is the state tree of Texas. And it is so good. And because if you also watched the uh, video where I made the um, bourbon glazed pecans and candy bacon, those come from Texas. All right, let's go to cutting this. I'm gonna cut, cut, cut. And cut, cut, cut. And that is it. A lot of pecans. Okay, I'm gonna wedge this out. That is, wow, a lot in here. See, it's got, it's got fruit, it's got, I mean, look at this. I mean, it, it kind of fell apart, but that's because the way I cut it. But look at that, I mean, look how much, I mean, there's hardly any dough. It's, it's fruit and fruit and pecans. There's uh, pineapple, there's mango, there's dates, there's raisins. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in this. I've got a pecan stuck to my hand. I mean, you got the cherries and I mean, all the glacé fruit. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of stuff in there. So, I mean, this is, this is awesome. So, I'm gonna get a fork. Hmm. sweet. It's moist from the fruit. This is really good. This is awesome. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we're... I remember as a kid we would get these because I always loved it because, you know, the, the tins. I mean, you, you know, you see the jokes about the the, uh, the butter cookies in the tins, you know, and then you, you go to open it up and it's just nothing but sewing notions. At my house, it was the uh, it was the fruitcake tins, not not those butter cookies. It was the fruitcake tins. Fruitcake. This fruitcake is awesome. It's fantastic stuff. Now recently, there's a story of uh, betrayal, deception, greed, and fruitcake that happened because. Um, there's a, there's a documentary, it just came out. It's on uh, Discovery Plus. And it talks about this person who used to work at the um, the factory for Collins Street Bakery. And he was their comptroller. Basically, he, he wrote all the checks for payments and all that. Well, he got a mind to start stealing from them. And he stole something like $17 million over a more than a 10 year period and it was crazy it's a crazy story you should check out the documentary and you should hear about it i mean this guy was you know like using you know jets like private jets everywhere everywhere he wanted to go he would like if he wanted to go for lunch he went he would fly a, job, a private jet from from corsicana down to austin for dinner and then fly back he would buy jewelry and cars and all that it was really crazy, and they didn't know what was going on. They thought they were they were selling a million uh, uh, fruitcakes a year, and they thought they were doing all right, but they were just getting by. And this dude was ripping them off, and it's a really, really sad story. I mean, it's kind of sad that he was doing this, but when they uh, they eventually caught it and got everything taken care of, it's a fascinating story. You know, uh, 
it's, I mean, it is a really, really fascinating story. And it's a great, but I tell you what, this fruitcake is amazing. A lot of people trash on it, uh, trash on fruitcake period, but not this one. Well, you will catch hands if you're talking bit bad stuff about this uh, fruitcake here, the Collins Street Bakery. And I tell you what, if you drive when you're driving through uh, Waco, they have a Collins Street Bakery uh, location there, and you can go in there and you can get you a fruitcake. You can get a sandwich. They make sandwiches at the Collins Street Bakery. You can get it there in the Waco location and the main uh, and the uh, Collins Street location in Corsicana. They make sandwiches. They have cookies. I mean, it's a bakery, so they make cookies. They make cakes. It's awesome. Um, I love to stop there every now and then. And when we're driving uh, back up to Fort Worth and back down here to, to Leander, we'll stop up there at the uh, cafe, uh, the bakery, and get a sandwich. And it's so, so good. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. And y'all have a safe Christmas if I don't see you until then. But one more show. One more show before Christmas, and we'll see you then. Y'all take care.